Hi, I'm Dennis Prescott, and today we're making grilled lobster with garlic compound butter. Lobster is definitely a celebration kind of meal. Today, we're gonna grill these lobsters. They're gonna take in all of that wood-fired smoke. They're gonna be beautiful. If you've never made lobster before, can be a little bit scary, but there's a few quick tricks to make sure that everything goes accordingly. What I like to do, just to make sure that we're being as humane as possible, is very quickly, knife in the back. That's gonna stun them, and then they go directly into a pot of boiling water that's been salted. That's gonna be in that pot for two minutes, and then we're gonna take it out and shock that lobster in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. So after about two minutes, you can see that this lobster has turned to a beautiful red color. That's gonna go directly in an ice bath. The ice bath is gonna stop the cooking process. Really, we're just gonna leave it in the ice bath until we can handle it easily, it's not too hot. Then we'll move on to the next process. So our lobster has been cooling in this ice bath probably for about five minutes. I know I can work with it now. And basically what we're gonna wanna do is cut this directly in half, very sharp knife, cut it in half so then we have two even sides. Those are then gonna go on our grill after we add our butter. You can see how the flesh has turned from a completely clear color to almost an opaque color, but you can also tell that it's not yet cooked through. That's what we want because we want this to continue cooking on our Traeger grill. Next up, we're gonna make our compound butter. Compound butter is incredible. You can make this ahead of time. You can keep this in your fridge or your freezer for any time that you wanna add it to something like a grilled lobster, grilled fish, some beautiful steak. It really works on almost anything. And today, we're gonna hit this compound butter with garlic, with shallots, and some beautiful herbs like tarragon and parsley. So basically, all we're gonna do is grab a bowl, we're gonna add our butter in here. The great thing about compound butter is you can really mix it up to however you like. Today, I'm gonna to use tarragon and parsley as our herbs. If that's not what you have on hand, you can use any soft herbs that really complement whatever the dish is beautifully. So feel free to make it your own. But we're just gonna chop up about two tablespoons of tarragon and parsley. The beautiful thing about something like a compound butter is this freezes. So if you have herbs left in your herb garden that you haven't used or you don't know what to do with, this is a great way of stocking up your freezer for those winter months where you don't want to go to the grocery store and spend a lot of money on herbs. So that's going to go right on top of our butter in here. Next, we're just going to chop up a shallot. And with our shallot, we want to dice this as finely as possible. So then when it cooks, it almost disappears, but it gives it that beautiful shallot flavor. And shallots, herbs, garlic, and then the last thing we're gonna add is lemon. Lemon complements beautifully, of course, with seafood. Lemon is just a game changer. It's classic. It's classic for a reason, because it tastes fantastic. So into our bowl with the shallot. Just set that bowl aside. We're gonna chop up some garlic here. A couple cloves will do the trick. And once you've got your garlic finely diced, just add that to this butter. And lastly, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon. And then really all you need to do is work this butter until it's mixed through, until it's beautifully soft, and then we'll move on to the next step. Our compound butter is all ready to go. Like I said, you can put this in the fridge. It goes beautifully on so many things. What we're gonna do is grab our lobster here, you want to season this up with a little bit of sea salt. Anything that comes from the sea, you want to hit with a little bit of extra sea salt. We've got some cracked pepper on here. And then we're just going to spoon a little bit of our compound butter all over this lobster flesh to make sure that it kisses every little nook and cranny. We've preheated our Traeger grill to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna add our lobster right onto the grill. These are gonna be on there for about eight to 10 minutes. However, when we're almost done, we're gonna add a little bit of extra butter because as you know, butter makes everything better. Lobsters are ready. I cannot wait. Time to put these on the grill. 
So it is lobster time. As you can see, I've made a few extras. I prepared one for you, but you don't make lobster just for one or two people. Usually you make it for a crowd because it's a celebration kind of dish. So we've got our Traeger grill preheated, like I said, to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We are gonna add our lobster onto the grill, flesh side down for four minutes. After that, we're gonna give them a flip. We're gonna add a little more butter to the top of them, let them continue to cook for about five minutes longer. So our lobsters have been cooking for about four minutes. I know that it's time to flip them over. So what I'm gonna do, open up the grill, give them a nice flip, add a good amount of butter to them because we've already said butter makes everything better and it's gonna taste delicious. I can already smell the herbs, the garlic, the shallot coming through. So let's give these a flip. They're gonna take about four minutes on the other side and then they'll be ready to go. And like I said, once they're all flipped over, we're gonna add some butter. You can see right here that lobsters naturally have a little home that's just waiting to be filled. You can fill that with many things. Today, we're gonna go with compound butter. So our lobsters are all ready to go. You can smell the garlic, the fresh herbs, the lemon. I can't wait to tuck in. The only thing left is to take them off the grill and serve up. These lobsters smell absolutely incredible. The garlic, the herbs, the smoke from the Traeger grill, I cannot wait to tuck in. The only other thing I'm gonna do is hit this lobster with a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon. Because lemon and seafood are just a match made in heaven. And the last thing I'm gonna do is hit this with just a nice little pinch of sea salt bring out all of those natural flavors. Sea salt, lemon, garlic, herbs, tarragon. I honestly cannot wait. That is just absolute heaven. Lobster is so good. Any way you cook it, it doesn't get any better than this. That wood-fired Traeger kiss of awesomeness. For this and many more recipes, head to TraegerGrills.com slash recipes or download the app.